let's talk a little bit more about those. First one I want to talk about is experience. And let's scroll all the way down here and take our warden, for example. So you'll notice that with experience bits, you'll be able to level a unit from levels 1 through to 10. We can do that right now. And you'll see that as we do so, we increase our HP, attack, and defense, our base stats. And this is the main thing that you're going to be spending experience bits on. You'll notice that once you hit level 10, however, it, max out, it maxes out. And uh, to increase this further, from, to uh, get our unit all the way up to level 60, we then need to promote. To promote a unit, you have to sacrifice units of equivalent value. So this uh, Warden, we've just uh, taken from levels 1 to 10, and it's currently 1 star. So to uh, increase that, we need to sacrifice another unit of equivalent value, in this case, 1 star. This is what I was talking about before when I said you need to use fodder. Uh, and green units or common units are the most appropriate to do so if you to sacrifice those. So let's do that. And you'll notice that we now get our second star. This is now a two star water and we increase some secondary stats. So the secondary stats will always increase when you rank a unit up uh, or promote them, uh, whereas experience will do the HP defense and attack. And now we can resume upgrading him once again. So let's take him up to level 20. And from here, we'll need to promote once more. So this is where we have a secondary thing called mainframes, and you'll get these as you naturally progress, and you can use these instead of units. If, so you don't always have to create fodder. As you see, I've made lots of two-star units here so that I can use them to upgrade others. Now, a little trick with that, I'm just going to take a quick sidebar. When you are making fodder, I would highly suggest you do so in the workshop. Let's just duck out and have a quick look at that, which you can find in this menu, the workshop. And this is quick rank. So this is bulk leveling lots of units. It doesn't, it's not any cheaper or any more expensive. It's just a really quick way of doing it. Um, you have a small amount of control, but I would highly suggest only doing it for fodder units. When you're actually upgrading the units that you uh, want to be using, I would suggest doing it manually. Uh, so you do not risk accidentally sacrificing them uh, in the workshop itself.